what's going on with my friends in good old YouTube land? Well, the uh, condenser fan is mounted under the van. We got lines running into the RV van. That is, God, that took us a while today, man. It really did. Um, I've got a lot of footage, and I'll, I'm going to put together one or two parts of this video of the install. I'd like to really do it in one part. There's a lot of footage. I want to use it all, but I'll get the highlights of that stuff and, and really um, put this together. And I think what I'm going to do with the footage that I have is it just seems so it just goes on and on. There's bits and pieces that I'm going to show it. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to narrate the install. I think it'll be much more efficient. The audio will be cleaner because I have a microphone in front of me and I will record my audio. And what I'll do is and put the video together, and I'm just going to record my audio as I'm watching the video. And what I will do is, uh, is it's kind of a narration, is I'll be able to line that audio up with it. If not, I can clip and paste everything. I mean, I'm an audio engineer, and I were, I'm a music producer. I know this stuff. I know audio. It's my forte. Now, I'm not going to tell you video editing is my forte because it's not. Obviously, it's not. So, I mean, so before anybody goes, hey, you should do a better job on your videos and use this and that. I'm an audio engineer and a music producer. I submit, I submit the music to the TV people. So, that's my forte. So, and probably most of, most if all the music you hear, with an exception of a few in these videos, will be my music. I will more than likely compose music or or some sort of sound design or anything for these videos on my own as I do it. I've done it before already, believe it or not. Um, but anyway, um, I will get that video out. I'm going to do a whole install because the company, Cruising Comfort, that I'm buying from, I, I think he's kind of said, hey, I'd love to see the install video if you do a review and you talk about it. Um, we'd love to. We could post it on our site. I'd be glad to do that because really there's no install videos for this. They're going to do one eventually. They just bought a ProMaster. Uh, of course, my install would be of a ProMaster. It, I don't know anything much about the Sprinter vans or anything. And as we do the install, I will probably mention, you know, I don't know about the Sprinter vans, but these are the things with the ProMaster that you need to look for. Um, and I'll give you an idea how these things install. And, and granted, everyone's different. Everyone kind of uses their own technique and their own thing. But what we did was really cool. And I'll go over it. Uh, we were going to use what they call um, galvanized pipe straps. But I just, I was thinking, I don't know how it's going to work. And he, Clancy pretty much said, I just don't know. So we went and got some, some uh, flat metal, three foot pieces that you get at Lowe's. Same type of metal from the same company that I made the bed out of, the platform bed. It's just two of these strips and we can bend them and conform them to bolt them into the frame and that thing ain't going anywhere. You just, there's some things you gotta be careful of and I'll go over all that, so. But anyway, um, hopefully before mid-June, I wanna get, we'll get the AC in, we'll get that window in. I'd love to do the couch bench. That might not happen till July before I leave on maybe a big trip. We're crossing our fingers, hoping we get that done. But what I am going to do, I'm planning on taking uh, a, a quick trip here in mid-June for a few days, three or four days, maybe a week. Um, if I lived in Mississippi for many years of my life, and one thing I never did is I never drove the Natchez Trace Parkway. And it runs from Nashville to Natchez, Mississippi. So I'm going to I'm planning that, and I'm going to drive that and go through it. And then there's a couple of places I'm going to shoot over to that's over in Arkansas. Yeah, I know you're thinking, Arkansas? What's that? What's in Arkansas? It's a couple of places I haven't been in Arkansas, and we'll talk further on that. And just taking a quick trip, testing out the van, you know, basically doing a dry run. And then I'm going to shoot back home. And then I'm going to start planning for maybe a big trip. To go some places hopefully we, things will start opening up more and i can do that so crazy time to be doing that i swear it is it really is just crazy but anyway i'll keep you the evaporator should be in thursday and the breaker shortly after that that weekend i've got a breaker it's a power breaker i've got to get a few small parts most of all the stuff that i already have so we will we'll get all that done and um We'll get that installed. It'd be good to have some AC in here. So, but anyway, I wanted to pull an update on that and uh, 
We'll keep you posted as time goes on for more and more, and I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, meanwhile, i got a lot of music i got to get done. I've got... I'm working on track three of hopefully 15 I can get. I need to get... This is a big library and a big opportunity if I can get these tracks done for this guy. And it's on my list for the year to get with another library, and this would be this would be major. This is the largest library probably in the world, if not one of them. He has a sub-publishing deal with him, and like I said, this guy is a great composer. He's won a lot of awards, six Emmy Awards to be exact. And he approached me some time ago. He said he was looking for some content. I sent him some examples. We didn't talk for a while. But when I approached him about a week or so ago, he said, hey, send me some, man. Let's, let's get on it. Yeah, I'd love to do it. And uh, i got to get it done. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Thanks. Bye.